Everybody. Welcome back to the Bluegrass Farmer. Good to have you back with us on this beautiful spring day. As you can tell, the uh, tree swallowers are back, the bluebirds are back, and in, uh, in my past videos, uh, there's a video in there where it shows me cleaning out the bluebird boxes and the gourds for the arrival of uh, the bluebirds and the uh, tree swallows. Well, I can officially say today's uh, March the 26th and uh, Thursday, March 26, and the bluebirds and tree swallows have arrived. So perfect timing. Usually around the 25th is when uh, we've always expected the arrival of uh, the bluebirds and the tree swallows and ma mainly the martins, the martin scouts. And like I mentioned in the other video, I don't do real well with martins here, so. But I do, uh, do real well with the tree swallows and the bluebirds. So uh, they are here at the farm. Today is uh, mowing day. I knew this day would come, so uh, we're going to be getting the equipment ready today and uh, be doing some mowing here today, get everything all kind of spruced up a little bit and uh, get things ready. So uh, hang with us. We'll check you here after a while. Okay, hey, uh, here's my uh, second tractor I got. It's a John Deere 750. This uh, tractor is strictly used for mowing. And um, we've had this thing for many years and it has never ever failed us. It's uh, been an excellent tractor. So uh, before we get this going, we're gonna do a little maintenance work on it get it uh, ready to go to the bottoms. What I like doing now is uh, I like to check the uh, gearbox for oil to make sure that it's filled up. This is actually the first time this year uh, using this mower and tractor, so. I always take a little time and do a little maintenance, do a little looking at everything. It's full. So when you crank them up for the first time of the year, it's good to check everything before you get started on your task at hand. This mower deck is a uh, 261 grooming mower. It's uh, actually a John Deere. 261 grooming mower and it does real real well so what I like to do now is uh, go through here and grease everything real good Most of them are already greased up real good already.
pyramid problem. Wasn't too bad, but it needed some. I hated to hear about my old buddy Joe Diffie dying from the coronavirus. I really liked his music. And of course, you know what song I'm talking about that I really liked, John Deere Green. But I really enjoyed his music, so hate to hear that about old Joe. You just never know when your day's gonna be numbered. Live every day like it's your last. What we're going to be doing is uh, mowing the bottom here, Willisburg Loop. This is the uh, buggy trail I was telling you about. And uh, we're going to be mowing most of this all the way through here. I like to keep this uh, mowed slick. But the thing is, I've got to walk about a quarter of a mile in this direction because I want to check and make sure there's no sticks or limbs that have fallen since previously I've been down here. I'm sure there is. We'll get them as we go. That and it's a good day for a walk. The reason I like coming down here doing the walk before I mow, you don't want to hit that with a mower.
Might as well take a break while I'm here. And the walk continues. See these rocks here? I mean, they just look like plain rocks, of course. There's a story with these rocks. Adjacent to the farm, uh, over on the other side of the farm there's an african-american church that's been there for about 170 some years i'll show you a video of that later on but these rocks here have always this area here has always been considered the called the moses hole for as long as i can remember it's been called the moses hole the reason it's called the Moses Hole, as I've been told, is after church on Sunday, a few of the uh, parishioners would come down here to the creek on this flat rock down here and gamble. I don't know if they rolled dice or what they did back in. Now, we're talking back in the 30s and 40s when all this was going on. But they would come down here after church And they referred to it as the Moses Hole. So this rock situation here, and I don't know if you can see that real well, there's a hole that's going down underneath the rock where the water goes underneath the rock. And that's what they called the Moses Hole. So that's uh, the story on this. So we uh, we always refer to it in the family as the Moses Hole. That's all we've ever called it. We've got to be careful down here. These snakes, we do have snakes here. And they like to come out on days like today and just sun out on these rocks. I've been known to sit down next to one. They don't bother me as long as I can see them. If I can see them, I'm fine. I'll, uh, uh, you know, I don't, I don't mind them. But if I pull a rock back or move a piece of wood or something, and then they're sitting there, then I get a little jumpy. As long as I can see them, I don't buy, they don't bother me. Well, got a quarter of a mile walk back. I'll be ready to mow. We're almost back. And they're off.
got that project done today. Started about 11.30 this morning and uh, it's quarter after two right now. So it takes a while to mow all that down there. It's uh, it's longer than a lot of people think. So it's a pretty good stretch down through there. But like I said, we got all that taken care of today and I've enjoyed it. Had a good day today, beautiful weather here today. So um, I appreciate everybody being with us and uh, watching the Bluegrass Farmer. And uh, hopefully this week we'll get the uh, garden plowed up. We've got some gardening that we need to start thinking about. Uh, around here, a lot of people don't put garden out till after the first Saturday in May. That's when the frost uh, is pretty much gone after the first of May. And uh, then you'll start seeing gardens. But usually about the end of April, I like to start putting out gardens. So we'll be plowing the garden up here probably this week and uh, getting it ready and everything. So we'll show you, I uh, might not show you the plowing part, but we'll show you the uh, tilling and getting it ready for the uh, the upcoming season. So uh, I'm, I am uh, two hours and 15 minutes past lunch. I'm gonna go down to the cabin and rustle up some beans and taters and uh, get some other little projects that need to be done. So uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. And uh, everybody stay well, that's the main thing. We got a long road, long road to hold. So uh, we'll get through it. But thanks again everybody, and appreciate your time. And thanks for watching the Bluegrass Farmer.